4. In this video lesson, we're going to review chapter 3 and chapter 4. It's about multiplication, division, and also word problems. Let's we discuss together. Number 1, multiply 4,576 by 8. So, 4,576 times 8. First step is 8 times 6 equals 48. So, you need to write 8 and then say 4. And then 8 times 7 equals 56. 56 times 4 equals 56 plus 4 equals 60. So you write 0 plus and then save 6. And then 8 times 5 equals equals 40. 40 plus 6 equals 46. You write 6 and then save 4. And the last 8 times 4 equals 32. 32 plus 4 equals 36. So 4,576 times 8 equals 36,608. Next example, multiply 4,217 by 5. So 4,217 times 5, 5 times 7 equals equals 35 so you need to write 5 and then save 3 and then 5 times 1 equals equals 5 5 plus 3 equals 8 and then 5 times 2 equals 10 so you need to write 0 and then save 1 and the last 5 times 4 equals 20 20 plus 1 21 so 4,217 times 5 equal 21,085. Okay, next example. Multiply 16 by 15. 16 times 15. First step is 6 times 5 equals 30. So you need to write 0, save 3, and then 5 times 1 equals, equals 5 plus 3 equals 8. And then 1 times 6 equals 6. And then 1 times 1 equals 1. And then you need 2 plus 8. 0, 8 times 6 equals 14. So you need to write 4 and save 1. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So 16 times 15 equals 2, 240. Next question, multiply 310 by 28. So, 310 times 28, first step is 8 times 0. 8 times 0 equals 0. 8 times 1 equals 8. 8 times 3 equals 24. And then, 2 times 0 equals 0. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6 and then you need 2 plus 0 8 plus 0 equals 8 4 plus 2 equals 6 2 plus 6 equals 8 so 310 times 28 equals to 8680 next about division divide 7536 by 6 so you write 7,536 by 6. First step, 7 divided by 6 equals to 1. And then 1 times 6 equals 6. And then you need 2 minus 7 minus 6 equals 1. And then 5 go down. Now become 15. 15 divided by 6 equals to 2. 2 times 6 equals 12. Then you need 2 minus 5 minus 2 equals 3. 1 minus 1 equals 0. And then 3 go down. 30 become 33. 33 divided by 6 equals 2. 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. And then you need 2 minus 3 minus 0 equals 3. 3 minus 3 equals 0. And then 6 go down. 36 divided by 6 equals 6. 6 times 6 equals 
36. And then you need to minus. 36 minus 36 equals 0. So, 7,536 divided by 6 equals to 1,256. Okay, next question. Divide 679 by 9. So, 679 divided by 9. First step, can 6 divide by 9? Okay, you need to use two digit. 67 divided by 9 equals to 7. 7 times 9 equals 63. And then you need to minus. 7 minus 3 equals 4. 6 minus 6 equals 0. And then 9 go down, become 49. 49 divided by 9 equals to, equals to 5. 5 times 9 equals 45. And then you need to minus. 9 minus 5 equals 4 and 4 minus 4 equals 0. So, 75 we call it as quotient and 4 is reminder. So, 679 divided by 9 equals to 75 reminder 4. Next about word problems. Look at the word problems. Ayu bought 6 air tickets. 4 of them cost $1,096 each. And each other cost $1,487 each. How much did he spend all together? You need to find how much for tickets. Okay? You need to draw four parts. And then each part is $1,096. And you need to find four. How much is four tickets? So you need to multiply. $1,096 times four equals to $4,384. So, he spent $4,384 for four tickets. Okay, next, you want to find other tickets. Are you booked six air tickets? And then you only find four tickets. So, le it left two tickets left. And then one ticket is $1,487 and you need to find... Two tickets. How much is two tickets? So you need to multiply two times one thousand four hundred eighty-seven dollars times two equals to two thousand nine hundred seventy-four dollar. So he spent two thousand nine hundred seventy-four dollars on other tickets. But the question is, how much did he spend all together? So you need to plus. $4,384 plus $2,974 equals to $7,358. So, he spent, he spent $7,358 all together. Okay. The last example, Mrs. Tan had $3,756 to spend on furniture. She booked a sofa set for $1,195 and six chairs at $1,000. Okay, how much did she spend all together? First, $128. Okay, and then he, uh, she booked six chairs at $128. So, you need to multiply 6 by $128 equals to $768. So, the 6 shares cost $768. And then, the sofa is $1,195. And 6 shares cost $768. 
And then you need to plus $1,195 plus $768 equals to $1,963. So she spent $1,963 all together. Question B. How much money did she have left? So Mrs. Tan had 3756 dollar at first and then she spent 1963 dollar altogether two box sofa and also six chairs okay at first mrs tan had 3656 dollars and then she booked sofa and six chairs about 1936 dollar and how much money did she have left? You need to minus $3,756 minus $1,936 equals to $1,793. So she had $1,793 left. Okay, that's all about review chapter 3 and chapter 4. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.